What's up guys, in this video we're going to be looking at setting up the functions for the sockets. So to do that we're going to be going into the actions um, and then action creators. So this is just an empty file right now and we're just going to start creating some functions. So the first one that we want to create is a created item and we're passing in an item and this is setting up a action for reducers. So we need to have a type. Um, and we're going to call it created item. And we're just going to pass the item in. And then the code is almost uh, the same for each one. For updated. Item, we're just going to change the name to updated item. And down here for removed item, um, we're just going to do a removed item. Okay, so we have these three functions created, updated, and removed item. So these are all socket functions that are going to be listening and when a socket is gets new data it's going to call this function but we would also like to just call the um, API ourselves to create new items and to update items these are only listening for changes we want to actually be able to create items um, and delete and update items so we're going to create three more functions that are going to be actions to dispatch those commands so Let's create a create item. Um, to create an item, um, we'll just pass in the item that we'd like to be created. Um, and we'll create have the type create create item. And just pass the item in. Okay, and very similar for the other two as well. Slightly different this time. So for update item, we need to pass in the ID of the item that we'd like to update, and then the new data that's gonna overwrite the item. So update item, passing in the ID and new data. And then for our last one, remove item, we just need to pass in the item of the um, ID uh, that we would like to be removed. So remove item, passing in the ID. We don't actually need anything else. Okay, and there's actually one last function I wanted to add as well. And this is just for showing all the items when the page is first loaded. So find all items um, and all that does is find all items mm -hmm. so type find all items and that doesn't need anything else like it's just gonna find all the items doesn't need parameters or anything so these are our actions those are all set up nice and good um, our socket functions, um, we're going to set up with reducers, but it makes more sense to set up our RESTful. Um, and just real quick, I want to point out these are the socket, socket actions right here. And then over here, these are our RESTful actions. Um, th these four up here. So these these guys right here, we're going to have to create sagas using Redux Saga. Um, these allows us to do asynchronous um, API calls, whereas this these three up here will go straight into reducers. Um, if that doesn't make sense, just follow along. We will be making more sense in a second. So there's a folder called sagas. We're going to go into that and open this file called sagas. Now what this is, this is a library that allows you to make um, basically asynchronous calls to a server and then once it gets the result it allows you to dispatch an action and it goes to the reducer and reduces um, 
and updates the state of our application. So what we'd like to do is call our feathers API. Um, so we call feathers API and then after that we get the result of whatever is calling that and once we get the result we um, dispatch an action. And once we dispatch an action um, we uh, have a reducer which reduces it, reduce action, um, and then this updates the state. And then our uh, UI changes and you'll see new uh, to-do items pop up. Okay, so to do this, um, we're going to have to create some functions. So this uses a different syntax, slightly different syntax. You'll see a function star, um, and we're going to create one for each uh, one of our restful fun uh, actions. So first one I'm going to call find all saga, and this is going to pass uh, have two functions, service and action. Um, it's going to generate results. It's going to call a function called find all items which we have not created yet, and we're going to pass in the service to that. Um, and then we're going to yield, and then we're going to put, and then we're going to pass in the type find all items done. And we're passing the result. Okay, so what's happening right here, and actually we don't even need this because of how our sockets are going to be working. So normally what happens is what you will do is you will call the API, and that's what this is doing right here. We have not created this all items, find all items yet. That we'll be doing in the next video. Um, but we'll be calling a function which will actually do the API call, and then once we get the result, we will go ahead and we will update the uh, UI. Because we're doing sockets, the sockets will automatically update the UI. So we don't even need to like listen for a uh, result back. All we do is we just call, and then we're done. That's it for that. And then to actually, uh, when do we do, when do we call find all saga? Well, when you create another function, which is kind of act kind of as a listener. So find all saga and I want to change this name to find all items and call this find all uh, saga. And then call uh, pass in uh, as a parameter service. And this is what's going to uh, listen for the action, which we already created find all items. So every time the action find all items is called, we would like to call find all items and pass in service as a parameter. And then down here, um, we just need to fork off the find all saga. Okay, and now we need to do this four more times. This is a lot of boilerplate. If you want to um, go to GitHub and then just copy this, that might be a good option because they're going to be very similar, each one. So find all, we also have uh, create item saga. We have update item saga, and we have remove item saga. I'm just going to copy this and paste, paste. So create item, call create item, um, and this will call create item. And we'll pass in a service, and we also need to pass in action.item, which is the actual item that we will be um, creating. And then instead of find all saga, we will do create item saga, and we'll be listening for the create item um, action. And we just need to make sure we call this guy right there. Okay, so that's our create. Now we need to do our update. Update call update item. Um, and then we're going to call 
update item and we pass in the service the ID action ID and action dot new data and then um, update item saga and this is going to be listening for update item uh, and then right here we do call update item service that's good and then our last one is going to be call remove item we're going to call remove item and then we're going to pass in just the id action dot id and then right here we're going to change this to remove item saga we're going to be listening for remove item and then we're going to call remove item okay that was a lot of typing um, but we created our four functions right there um, in the next video we're going to be creating uh, four more functions that uh, is that actually call the API right here this is just listening into some redux boilerplate for redux saga in the next video we'll actually create the API for the four functions create item um, update item remove item and find all items and we're going to be getting this from uh, service.api so in the next video we'll be creating the service API uh, Full, this file with all our functions to call the API.